Alrighty, um, this month of July, I am dedicating to one of my subscribers, and the reason why I'm doing that, I, you know, she has, um, <laughs> I'm not really, um, I'm not really someone who's very impressed, um, by people. But um, you know, life brings us people sometime, and uh, I am happy um, to connect to this person. And um, she has been not only an inspiration to me, but she has always um, she has also helped me uh, also to see um, things about myself. Okay. <laughs> so thank you um, Sadie this is wonderful thank you so much thank you for connecting with this channel um, thank you for um, the wonderful um, situations that um, you have brought in my life and I am so grateful for that okay um, most of the decks which is one two um, three four decks that I'm going to be using um, this month especially this deck she has um, donated to um, this channel for everyone um, to basically enjoy um, she asks that um, this channel continue with the um, free readings and this is what we'll do um, it is a fellow Capricorn um, so um, thank you so much again um, <laughs> I'm so blown away from you and um, it's just to show that in life um, there are still wonderful people in this world and Sadie thank you so much because um, you have basically um, let me open up my eyes to see that the work that I'm doing is not only um, to heal myself but it's also healing other people so again thank you okay let's go into the month of um, July month of July is going to be the month of an earth energy okay um, so July what do we have in July I love these cards they're so beautiful um, they reminds me of simplicity um, but in a positive way very positive just very simply but in an extremely positive way and I'm loving these so Sadie thanks again I love the name of this deck and to the person who has developed this deck I love the name Ka. and if you look in the name of uh, um, Katikon there's two Ka. the Ka is the seal it's just the healing of the soul so every time that you will call and this is why so many people felt so connected to me it's because of the energy that is in um, um, this name okay okay so ladies and gentlemen um, the month of July let's speak about the month of July because this is the general reading month of July has the um, the energy of the hurt so this is good I'm so glad that J July is balanced I'm so basically happy that the month of June is over um, it was an horrific month it was a month of uh, um, you know things happening and out of the blues and that sort of a thing and on balances and this sort of a thing so um, yeah let's look at the month of July the two first weeks of July is going to accommodate the zodiac energy of water. The two last week is going to accommodate the energy vibration of the Leas. So whoopee, you Leas and Cancer, it is your month. So for the Leas and Cancer, the month of July is for you. Now, we are going to look at the energy of July. The energy of July has the energy vibration of... Um, a wonderful positive energies because what is happening and what is transpiring in um, this month of July is that there is a lot of simplicity 
but also positive energy there's a lot of karma clearing um a lot of karma clearing that is going to be coming up for a lot of people um it is um you'll be working with a lot of group of people in this month of july so um so be aware of this situation that in the month of july a lot of karma clearing will be going on and um this is going to be good but um you know it's it's an energy where um people needs to be aware of the energies that are coming up because um things can be simple city um very simple very easy but on the other end not all people can deal with this okay but you know as I'm looking at the month we have hair water uh, hair water fire and hurt oh my gosh so this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous I'm seeing a lot of help coming in I'm um, because the month of um, July um, is going to be um, the month of the number five and the month of the air event. This is going to be um, that a lot of you is going to be working out karma situation with groups of people, organization. Some of you will be going on vacation. Some of you will be trying to connect to a lot of people and a lot of situations. So. Um, this could be a situation that is going to be happening for you but um, it is the energy of the number five okay the energy of number five comes also back in the month okay it comes at the last week so you begin the month with hair and then you have water emotion then you have fire um, passion um, uh, you know building receiving a stability wants to make stability in your life and that sort of a thing okay and then um, what happened is that then the hurt came and balance out everything and this is a wonderful month because it has only four weeks and in this four weeks what is going to be happening and what is going to basically happening and transpiring in this week is that um, there is just going to be absolutely positive 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 energies okay yeah I'm sorry <laughs> I gotta get readings going so um, not to worry about that I'm loving July Um, you know I, I found that uh, um, the month um, of June was an, a month of oh, I was so tired I was basically always tired okay um what I should say about the energies of July um, what should we expect so we're calling the angels and guides to show us what to expect um, they're saying that the, all the four elements are here so it is a month where everyone is going to it's going to affect just about everyone because it's the changing of the second half everyone is moving to the second half of the year and there is going to just um, be um, changes coming up and these changes are going to be changes of simplicity because I don't know how many people read my books and that sort of a thing and to understand what do we mean by the changes of simplicity it is just basically changes coming up um, where we need to just simplify our lives get rid of things that we no longer need and then we try to balance out things what I'm seeing is a lot of couples a lot of people coupling up it's as if the energies of love is going to come in in the squirtle and is because it's summer and people are always traveling and I think um, with this energy of people traveling what is going to be happening and what is going to be transpiring is that a whole lot of people are going to be ending up in situations where they're meeting people a lot of love connection um I'm also seeing a lot of movement a lot of changes I'm also seeing um, people who were um, who are trying to get student loan and that sort of a thing people are trying to get mortgages and that sort of a thing people who are trying to make things happen in their life it's going to be happening people who are pushing forward it's going to be happening for you guys okay so let's look and see what is going to be transpiring in the month of July so again in the first week we have the energy 
of justice so it's a sense what they're saying is that a balancing a balancing of karmatic situation with other groups of people this can be karmatic situation with family friends or people who you um, really don't know um, whatever that was in balance and whatever that was happening um, in the first week um, justice is going to be coming in so that is um, the balance of hurt karmas and um, mostly hurt karmas that came back as karmatic situation which we have to work out second week love this is the week of um, um, the um, water energy and the energy of the water energy comes in in a very wonderful um, way because what is happening is that a lot of people will be finding their true inner light and this is good so the second week is going to be good for the um, Pisces cancer and scorpion the second week is going to be a fabulous week for the Pisces cancer on scorpion okay so um, this is going to be good because the first week is for the Aquarians, Gemini, and Libra. So the first week of July, it's a fabulous week for the um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libras, but also for some people who have been in in um, uh, unjustly accused and that sort of a thing. There is um, um, the energy of balance coming in in the form of justice. As we move to the third week we have the energy of a fire energy I'm loving this fire energy because it is the energy of the Emperor so in the third week um, um, it's a week where you uh, some people are going to decide and to move away from one job to another some people are going to decide um, to start their own business some people are going to decide to start something on their own some people are going to be connecting with their fathers um, some people who some fire sign are going to be realizing that they are their dreams and wishes are coming out in this week um some fire sign are going to be aware that yeah um life has bring them good and bad but they are still pushing through and having the passion to move forward so for you aries leo and sagittarius the third week is going to be your week in the month of july so whatever is happening um, for you fire sign people most of you are going to be having a lot of uh, successful endeavor um, I'm not seeing anything it's as if you guys have come through a period you fire sign people you Aries Leo and Sagittarius have come through a period where um, there is now positive energy and balance coming in your life as we move forward to the last and final week it's the week for the Taurus Virgo and Capricorns now especially this week is for the Taurus so um, a lot of Tauruses are going to be helping out other people and Tauruses actually come in with the energy under the energy of the elephant because they uh, work with groups of people whilst uh, the Virgo will um, work alone and the Capricorns will work with on a one or two one on one basis okay so this is what is going to be happening in this for fourth quarter is uh, for a week sorry as uh, um, the Capricorns or the earth sign people this is your week where um, the, the Tauruses are going to be working with a large group at one time to do karma clearing but um, the the Virgos are going to be working with themselves and their families and um, the people they have uh, um, accepted in their lives and the Capricorns are going to be working with groups but also a one on one um, basis so this is going to be good for the hurt sign people in the third and last week now for uh, um, the rest of the sign the air the air people um, the water and um, the fire people it is going to be um, somewhat of um, positive because the last week there is going to be a balance okay so we're calling up on the angels and guides to show us what else is going to be happening in the month of July for these general readings so let's see what is going to be coming out babies <laughs> okay I love these I haven't seen them you and I were looking at them at the same time so um, there's a lot of heart that is going to come out 
but what I'm receiving this is not really a baby this is someone between the ages of um, uh, 25 and 40 and um, some of you are going to be and especially um, the people between the ages of 25 uh, 25 to 45 um, whether you're a man or a woman and you or an Aries Leo or Sagittarius now be aware of the energies that is coming out because justice is in the first week going in the second week you're going to see the truth of the situation okay so what this is saying basically is that um, for you um, uh, um, people if you have a legal situation the possibility exists that you might lose this so for you um, fire sign people the possibility does exist that you might lose this um, and um, by you losing um, this um, win because it's not win because you're going to lose because justice is over you justice is standing over you this is going to um, let you start looking at yourself and the things around you and the career that you're in and realizing that sometimes um, that maybe you have gone you know a little bit too far that you have done something to someone that is was very injustice okay and not seeing the truth and not looking for the truth because sometimes um, um, people will just see what is on top and not looking at what is in the um, what is at the bat the bottom of a situation so um, I mean, I'm receiving the feeling for um, a mo you know some of the men out there that you have done something that was unjust to someone else and justice came in to show you that you were not right you have made a decision um, the decision that you have made is uh, an um, and judgmental decision and that can be um, because of uh, discrimination the decision that you make but this can also be because of your ego and you have let your ego go over and justice um, came down on you and now you're looking at yourself and, and thinking oh my gosh I should have looked at this or I should have looked at that or I should have looked at the situation much better before I made that decision okay all right let's um, let's uh, go further um, because it's um, you know um, the energy is going to affect uh, you know most little people between the ages of 25 and 45 it can that you are a um, and um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius or it can that you are just someone who um, is involved in justice and you have done something because out of ego um, and, and being judgmental you have made the wrong um, decision okay let's move on and see what is happening between the second week and the third week what is happening between the second week and the third week we have the five of cups we have the five of cups so obviously whoever between the ages of 25 and 45 I've done something that was not very nice there are some regrets there are some regrets but you're still having two cups standing so you know you can admit the truth and you know and then the energy of the, and then you're going to look within and think oh my gosh I should have um, seen this coming okay so not to worry um, it is an emotional time and it's going to be an emotional time um, for um, some of you not all of you but nothing is lost some of you could be um, leaving um, your job um, and having regrets over this okay some of you could be leaving your jobs or ending your career and starting a new career and having regrets over it for the people between the ages of 25 or 45 you could be having regrets over a, a, a situation or a decision that you have made in the past let's see what else is coming out between the fourth week the third week and the fourth week the energy of the world the energy of the world so this energy of the world is coming um, it's coming out um, what I'm receiving is for 
um, the earth sign people um, it's coming out for the earth sign people but it's also coming um, it's mostly coming out for the earth sign people so some fire sign people if you're a manager in management position um, it could affect you and it could not affect you it could be meaning the end of your career or decision to a situation but for the earth sign people it's the new beginning of something which is going to be very very positive and very very fabulous okay so for the fire sign people it's going to be the ending of a career or the ending of a position at work or the ending uh, maybe um, you know your father was sick and now he's feeling much better and that sort of a thing but it's an ending it's accumulation of an ending and a new start is coming in the message that I'm, I'm receiving also is that it's going to um, affect the energy of um, the fire sign people between the ages of 25 and 45 it's going to affect you um career wise a regret of a decision that you have made in the past okay okay let's move on and let's see what is going to happen for the um the fire sign um people between the ages of 45 and the we have the knight of swords the knight of swords so it's this month of uh, July is going to affect have effect on a lot of the people between the ages of 25 and 40 okay 25 and 40 so the knight of swords it doesn't have to be this is a male and a female energy so it can be a male or a female with the energy of the knight of swords okay which is an um, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra now what is happening here is that you are having a regret of you connecting with um, the night of one so some of you could be having a regret regret that you have connected with and um, Aries Leo or a Sagittarius some of you have been um, thinking oh my god um, yes I do regret doing this and this is really injustice okay but not to worry about it what is happening for you Aquarius Gemini and Librans um, what is actually happening is that you are seeing the truth of a situation and you're looking at yourself and you're thinking um, before I judge again I'm going to make sure that I know all the facts before I get involved okay as we move forward we're going to look and see what is coming up with the energy of the regrets and the world the hermit and this is positive because what is happening this is a water sign energy and this could have to do with um, um, a scorpion okay a scorpion and the hermit could be dealing with a scorpion but what is transpiring here is that um, the knight of swords or the uh, Aquarius Gemini or Libra um, or looking within themselves and you know realizing oh my god what have I done and they are thinking oh my gosh if only I knew um, I wouldn't have you know done something like that and now they're seeing that they have made a huge huge mistake and they're in some serious serious problems now this is basically going to come to an end because what is going to happen is that the energy of the world is bringing an end to the situation okay so um these air sign people are going to think oh my gosh um i i really shouldn't have done this i'm seeing someone regretting the money that they take to do something because now they're realizing that they are in some very very hot water okay let's see what is going to be the outcome of this quarter the energy of the sun <laughs> okay so it is and not a quarter I'm sorry 
um, the outcome is the energy of the Sun for the month of July and this is going to be wonderful because a lot of people are going to be aware of who they are um, it's as if this open up a situation where you are basically going to be aware of who you are um, a light information information is going to be coming at you you are going to be seen the truth of a situation you are going to be seen <laughs> Wow wonderful 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 because what is happening here ladies and gentlemen is that whatever and whoever have done um, it is as if people were trying to work against someone and now they're seeing oh my gosh what have I done and the at the end of the, the month is as if everyone is aligned with the truth everyone is aligned with the truth and um, an end come to a situation so justice is going to come for the um, the people between the ages of um, 25 and 40 uh, that is uh, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius or an Aquarius Gemini or Libra but at, uh, justice is going to come and at the end um, a situation where an organization an end of a situation the truth is going to come out and um, the energy of the number five comes up again so it's going to be a bittersweet month for a lot of people especially for um, these um, um, these people between the ages these um, fire sign and air sign people between the ages of 25 and 45 it's going to be a bittersweet a month of July for you because um, you are going to be um, very very in distress because it's as if justice came down on you the truth came out the information that was hidden the truth came out and here we are looking at an organization bringing an end to a situation seeing the truth and here is the energy of the Sun the hermit brings out um, the information the hermit shines the light on the information and let the truth came out this is a beautiful um, month of July um, because it's going to bring a situation to an end and um, by bringing the situation to an end a lot of people are going to be aligned with the truth some people are going to have some regrets the fire sign and the air sign people are going to have regrets but at the end the earth sign people is going to have some luck okay the earth sign people are going to have some luck the water sign people are going to be seeing the truth of a situation it has to do with the Pisces and the scorpions are going to be um, seeing the truth of a situation that some injustice um, that has occurred okay so as we look at this quarter you're going to be realizing especially because the hermit is the scorpions and the hermit is the, the scorpions and the man is the spices okay so this quarter is going to have um, the hermit the hangman the Pisces having some regrets um, about a situation with the scorpion okay so uh, it could be that you were in a relationship with a scorpion and you're having some regrets um, the energy of the Emperor um, um, some people some air sign people were in business you're going to have some regrets because you have not made the right decision and now you're seeing that you have uh, done something that was injustice and it is 
catching up on you okay so let's see what because I'm using and this deck is a beautiful deck um, that came also from um, uh, uh, Sadie um, this is um, crystal uh, angel so thanks again Sadie this was one of the decks that we got to make this reading and the outcomes is going to be increased support <laughs> thank you <laughs> oh my god increased support oh my god okay isn't this wonderful I got support to get these cards and increase support you're um, a positive focus and willingness to receive I've opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities that are coming in Sadie thank you I think you're like one of my guiding angels thank you so so much and to all um, um, my subscribers and new people who are coming on Thank you. This is all for you guys. I'm wishing you a lot of increase of support in your life as um, we will have on this channel together. Sadie, you are an angel. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to leave it here and I will speak to you um, in, um, in, the, um, in, in your readings. So this is just a general reading. Namaste until next time.